With a color made of 50% yellow ochre, 25% cinnabar, and 25% white, called biaca, which is 30% zinc and 70% titanium, indicate the point of maximum luminosity, or zone 1. The light radiates outward through the rays and stops when it encounters a line or shadow. The points of maximum light are always in the same places. Start the second passage, or zone 2, extending approximately twice the length of the first zone, going over the first zone. Use the squirrel hair brush during this phase of giving the form. The upper lip is never highlighted. Start the third passage, or zone three, further extending the light, going over the previous two zones. The brightness is achieved thanks to these successive layers. Always stir the color on the palette because natural cinnabar weighs 14 times the weight of water and sinks to the bottom. Extend, for the last time, a fourth passage, or zone four, which constitutes the most important part of this phase. The color is always the same, but if you don't mix it, it will appear less red. Go over the three preceding steps and be careful not to go beyond the zone of maximum luminosity, which was previously defined with dots or a pencil sketch on paper. It is essential to accurately fade this zone to connect with the greenish background. Connect the nose with the cheek in the zone of light 
the forehead and neck should be treated as a single ground in the case of passage 4. The steps of giving the form constitute 80% of the work on the face and must give the idea of being finished. The general anatomy must be extremely accurate.